The following instructions conform to industry accepted guidelines. Tire puncture repair is profitable and easy if you follow these step-by-step -step instructions. The tools, equipment, and supplies featured in this video are available through your Myers Tire Supply sales representative. For the Myers Tire Supply representative in your area, call 1-800-998-9897 or visit MyersTireSupply.com. Hands-on training is available on request. Patch Rubber will train on-site, providing instruction, support materials, and testing during a do-it-right training seminar. Passenger Tire Puncture Repair Procedures Caution! Always dismount the tire from the wheel before using a probe, grinding attachment, or repair tool. Some tires may contain an aerosol tire sealer inflator that could have a chemical additive that is extremely combustible and could ignite from using such tools. Always wear safety glasses when repairing tires. Do not repair a tire. If there is two thirty-seconds inch or less of tread on any two adjacent tread grooves, the tire is not legal for use on U.S. highways. If the tire cord or steel belt is exposed, or if there are flex brakes or severe sidewall abrasions. If there is any evidence of a separation in the tread area or the sidewall of the tire. If there is any evidence to indicate that the tire has been run flat, do not inflate it as reinflation could result in serious injury. Dismount the tire and inspect it for inner liner damage. And don't repair a tire if there are punctures or damage in the shoulder or sidewall areas. Never use any rim that is bent, pitted from corrosion, cracked, or worn. Remove rust, dirt, or foreign materials from rim parts. Always inflate the tire to its maximum allowed pressure. Do not overinflate. Check the surface and the valve for the source of the leak or leaks by using water, soap solution, or leak detector. Locate the injury and circle it with a crayon. Remove the valve core to deflate the tire. Dismount and inspect the inside and outside of the tire on a well-lighted spreader for inner liner cracks, open splices, exposed tire cord or steel belts, broken beads or bead wires, bulges or blisters, or other interior damage. If any damage other than a one quarter inch maximum puncture injury in the repairable area of the tread is present, refer the customer to a full service repair facility. One piece passenger tire puncture repair procedures. Repairable areas and limits. Puncture repair procedures for passenger tires are limited to one quarter inch maximum size injury in the repairable area of the tread only. Do not repair sidewall or shoulder injuries. All speed rated tires may be repaired using the same materials and procedures as non-speed rated tires. In some cases, the speed rating is retained or may be lowered. Consult the tire manufacturer to determine the rating of a repaired speed rated tire and tire warranty considerations. Locate the injury and circle it with a tire crayon. Make sure the tire is repairable. Do not invert radial tires. Remove the foreign object and probe the injury with an awl to determine the angle of penetration. If the angle of penetration is greater than 25 degrees from perpendicular, a separate plug stem and appropriate patch must be used. Clean the inner liner around the injury with patch rubber cleaner fluid and a scraper. Using a low speed drill, maximum 1200 RPM, and the appropriate carbide cutter, Ream the injury following the angle of penetration three times each from the inside and outside of the tire. Make sure you use proper eye protection. Use a tire crayon to outline an area one half inch larger than the repair unit. Use a low speed buffer, maximum 5000 RPM, and a buffing rasp to buff the inner liner to a number one buffing texture. Be careful not to buff through the inner liner. Vacuum the area to remove the buffing dust. Clean the buffed inner liner area with patch rubber cleaner fluid and a scraper. Dip the awl into the fast dry cement and insert it into the injury to lubricate the injury channel. Do not drip cement onto the buffed area. Apply an even coat of patch rubber fast dry cement to the buffed area. Allow it to dry until tacky. 
Drying time will vary depending on temperature and humidity. Never use external heat sources to speed up drying times. Insert the guide wire through the injury from the inside. Using pliers to grasp the rubber portion of the stem, pull it until the patch is seated against the inner liner. Do not over pull and cause the patch to dimple. Do not use the pilot wire to pull the stem through. Stitch the repair unit vigorously from the center working outwardly. Use as much hand pressure as possible. Make sure the patch edges are stitched down tightly. Remove the top cover film. Apply patch rubber repair sealer to the overbuff area. Cut the plug flush with the outside tread area. 